And uh, I take this opportunity also to express my gratitude to organizer of this conference, Dr. Joe and uh, the president of this university and the chair of this session, uh, Dr. I forgot the name. Now, Dr. Now, <laughs> right? Yeah. So, uh, uh, PPT uh, with a, a little bit fast speed. The title is so long. Yeah. <laughs> so first, uh, let me uh, start my presentation uh, by quoting two sentences. One from a Chinese novelist. Another is uh, from a scientist of designing a huge future vision that encompasses all problems confronting us now. How on earth can our future generation afford such a tremendous job? In fact, it would be impossible in concrete place of life where the practical action to overcome this complex pathology of a modern technological civilization take effect. In this context, the work of envisioning a future city cannot be handled by an act that encompasses not only culture, but also nature. This kind of understanding that encompasses beings as a whole is called ontology and philosophy. So what is in that to overcome the aforementioned complex pathology? Only with this fundamental ontological understanding of architecture and technology, we can design the vision of building a future home and city where where the two dimensions of nature, namely the sky and the earth, and humans, as well as technology, can reconcile with each other. But is there such an architectural philosophy to settle down? In other words, human being is not a biological behavior of survival. Besides long, immaterial space in which human lives, by mobilizing materials from the nature, and further in binding humans into communities. Needless to say, when architecture plays such a decisive role in new state of art, science, and technology of the era. Why? Technology. <laughs> 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 Reject me. Therefore, a task to envision a future city to clarify materialized grand mega vision for the future should be able to create an emergency caused by tech our technological civilization, reveal a complex pathology that puts all living beings, including humans, at the risk of extinction. So the city of for this future generation should be a concrete place of life or the aesthetic aspect of architecture. The architectural philosophy needed now should be fundamentally based on the understanding of architecture that encompasses not only culture, but also nature. This kind of understanding that encompasses being creation of a constant history artist. Nevertheless, an artist does not create, but discovers. Thus being original means to return to the origin. The houses for human dwelling are built by lessening the invitation from the natural landscape, so they are closely related to oh, the, the, the concept of creature texture. This, you know, that is a completely new concept for me. Um, I think it is a this open a new area of like like for me, at least from my my opinion of like. Uh, academic journey for, for us to, to understand that one, that future. Um, now, I would like... So far, we still live, but according to climate scientists or some scientists with uh, uh, conscience, always warn us that within 50 years, we, the, the want to take care of their society, they must, they, they must uh, consider this warning from the climate scientists seriously, I think. So, uh, this mass extinction is completely different mass extinction from the fifth 
Fifth mass extinction is the natural disaster, but sixth extinction, which will come, is a cultural disaster. So uh, the only solution for this is cultural, kind of a cultural revolution. Yeah, cultural revolution in the, in the, in the, uh, in the China, so, but uh, the cultural revolution is more, more metaphysical cultural revolution. Yeah? So. And the second question. You are right. I just uh, try to find out a positive, optimistic possibility in metaverse. The metaverse is really. Okay. Uh, question. Uh, I am a student of Jewish ethnic. I really don't know about uh, autonomy. Uh, so, can you introduce it more particularly so that I. I swear another. Another participant can understand more. Understand more. And uh, the second question is: On what basis do you assert that the original meaning? Thank you. Thank you for the very uh, smart question. But I think the fourteen years can answer this question better than I. The, the original meaning of economy comes from Greek word oikonomia. The oikos means the house, household. Economia is the kind of, uh, kind of very, uh, how to say, careful, uh, caring method of house, house, yeah, house or home. So, uh, but since the modern time, the original meaning of economia is changed in medical wealth. More friendly to nature. But this is a kind of bog dream. So in order to make this concrete, uh, we introduce architecture or landscape architecture to make our city, our living space more 